unlikely things to hear at the World Cup. I'll tell you what, that Nelson Mandela's a bit of a dick. <laughs> 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 and on comes the sub for North Korea, and it's torpedoed the opposition. <laughs> Pesky scores! <laughs> and there they are, Scotland through to the final 16. <laughs> <laughs> and we're a bit pushed for time this week, so uh, the both sides have been told to just play the highlights. <laughs> the last time I saw African kids this excited, Madonna was at their school with a net. <laughs> <laughs> It's very hard to tell with his legs at that angle, but no, that is definitely a Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on the one hand, uh, we lose uh, the tournament, uh, but uh, on the plus side, he stole me out tonight. <laughs> uh. That's right, Emmanuel Adeboyo. I understand exactly what you just said. <laughs> Fans are taunting the American fans by holding up an oil-covered pelican. <laughs> Ooh, goody, James Corden's show's on next. <laughs> England, of course, are being sponsored by Tesco Online, which is why John Terry has just been substituted by three ripe avocados. <laughs> Here we are on safari. There is a giraffe and an ostrich. I'm terribly sorry, it's Peter Crouch's parents. <laughs> England are playing fantastically. This is a splendid DVD of 1966. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame Ireland couldn't be here, but then Thierry Henry is a filthy, cheating, lying bitch. <laughs> You ain't carpets, Canadian Diego!